Hi, everybody. Welcome to the quick tutorial to get past the installation quibble that sometimes comes up when you install a brand new library that came from another hard drive, even sometimes after downloads. So I'm going to share with you real quick what I do to remedy this and how to make that go away and never come back. The first thing you want to do is if you download, let's see, this is the Padella punch base that I just released. If you get this reaction where it says content missing, that has to do with that it recognizes the file name correctly, but assumes the wrong location. So we need to just quickly fix that. And this is how, what we do. Once you see this message, hit browse for folder and go to the surrounding folder, the containing folder of wherever you downloaded that. So we're going back to the hard drive. In my case, it's sitting directly on a sound hard drive, my project storage drive. And I'm pointing it at the folder within which, you know, the samples are and the patch itself. So I'm going to the outside, the wrapping folder, the containing folder, and hit open. And lo and behold, now it found the samples and the sounds are there. The skin is there, the photo and everything else. Now, what you want to do after this is to quickly open the wrench, go to edit mode, and then hit save. And once you hit that, close the wrench again. Now we can actually delete the program. And if we hit load recent and load the program again, now no more questions are asked. And the sounds are there. That's it. That's all you have to do. Hope this was helpful. If you got any other questions regarding the installation, please contact us at the email address that I'm posting right now in this video. Enjoy your library and have so much fun.